Hi everyone, welcome to the drivetrain part of the series. This is the second to last part. We've got two chains because I thought it'd be nice to have a spare one. I bought some new reusable links. So there's one for each chain. I'll do both of them. Uh, so we'll just open them up, they're brand new. I'll put them in the cleaner to get the factory grease off. Then we'll size them up. So we'll put the back wheel on and then we'll wax them, ready to go. The chain actually comes with a link. That's not happened before. Usually they come with one that you put in and you snap off, which isn't reusable, but anyway. Uh, the chain's in the cleaner. I'm just gonna set it to 600 seconds. Close the lid, put it on, and we'll come back. Okay, so these quick links I found in the packet are not reusable. It says here, do not reuse the quick link that has been removed. So we've got our chains out of the um, Sonic cleaner. I've washed them and they're just hanging, they've been hanging to dry. Okay, so I've loosely put the first chain on. As you can see, I've actually used the supplied link. I'm not gonna use it when I'm riding because I'm going to be breaking it and remaking it probably three or four times during this process. Don't attempt to do it one-handed. So the tool's on, you just push these apart. As you can see, there's an arrow and the link. That's not the direction of the link because if we look in the bag here, they both point the same way. So the arrow points to the pin. Um, so we're going to take out two links to start with because you don't want to take out too many because you can't put them back. So if you're unsure, just take out one at a time until we get it tight. Okay, so we've taken out six links, as you can see there, a two, a two, and a two. And as we go over to the bike, that is pretty cool. So that's the drivetrain sorted out. So technically I could ride this bike, um, but I'm gonna wax the chain off. So let's uh, get waxing. We've got our chain. We're just gonna swish it around in the absolute black graphene wax. Look how black it is. Um, we'll just swish it around in there. We'll do the other one that's hanging up. We'll take them both out, let them dry a little. Okay, they're both hanging up now. We'll let them cool down. So that's cooled down enough to touch. I'll just put it on the bike put the quick link in and then we'll see how it looks. Be a little bit clunky for 500 meters or so. Just till all the links uh, go in. But yeah, that's cool. Great mat. So, chain is on, bars to go, then we're finished. Just something I'd like to add. This is after I've recorded this video. What I'd like to do, I don't know if you can see in there between the front hanger and the frame i've had to put in you know, some spaces what i did is i cut up one of the one mil neoprene washers cut it in half glued half of it to the frame glued half of it to the hanger the reason for that is so get this derailleur parallel with the chain ring the angle of the derailleur hanger makes the derailleur kick out like this and the inside of it was rubbing when it was on the big ring. It'd probably be all right with a round ring because it doesn't move, but this one, because it's oval, um, it has different height. So it was hitting the inside derailleur there. So that's just a little extra I've had to put in those spaces, which then uh, kicked the front out so it was parallel to the rings. Yeah, just something I've noticed. Perhaps the hanger, either the hanger or the or the frame slope is uh, at the right angle for oval chain rings. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the channel. And we'll see you on the next Kairos house. Take care, bye.